This is Alim from Javelin putting to the test the latest functionality introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2016. In this video, I will focus on one of the greatest improvements to the user interface in the recent years. The ability to apply dimensions on pre-selected entities in a sketch. Let's start our test. I'm going to select one line and from the pop-up I'm going to apply the smart dimension. As you can see, that works as expected. Let me select two lines. Pre-select these two lines, apply the dimension, it defaults to an angle. So far, so good. Pre-select an arc, defaults to a radius. Again, makes sense. Pre-select two lines that are parallel, you get the dimension between those lines. Again, makes sense. Pre-select a point and a line you get the dimension. So, so far so good. Let's uh, select a B-spline and apply the dimension. It works. Let's select a style spline, apply the dimension. I'm getting the length of the spline. Let's select the le uh, let's select a line that belongs to the polygon of a style spline and try to apply the dimension. And again, it works. What about uh, a conic? I'm getting the raw value. So far, so good. 100% checks. Uh, what about the dimension about the center line? Let me do a control selection. I'm going to release the control key and apply the dimension. And again, it's, you can see a center line dimension can be applied. Now, the hardest probably would be applying dimensions on um, the minimum or maximum condition for uh, arcs and circles. So let's try selecting the outside of the circle, pressing the shift key. Now control selecting the, let's try again actually just with the shift key. So shift select, shift select. And where is the pop-up? If I apply the pop-up, it defaults to the diameter. So that doesn't seem to work if I you just use the shift key. Okay, let's try a combination of shift and control. So shift select the outside, shift control select the inside of this one, release only the control key and keep pressing the shift key. And I'm getting what I want. Let's try again. This time I'm going to try to use only the shift key. So shift outside, shift outside. I'm still pressing the shift and now I'm going to press control. And looks like this is the workflow that works nice and um, and it's probably the best. Let's try again. I'm going to delete these dimensions. So remember this. You With the shift press, you select one side of the circle. Now select the second side of the circle. I'm still pressing the shift key. At this point, with shift press, I'm just clicking once on control in order to get the pop-up. And now I can apply the smart dimension as expected. What about a line and a circle? So I'm going to select the line first. I'm going to press shift, select the circle, and I'm just going to press for a second on control with the shift still being uh, pressed. Dimension, and I'm getting what I want. Let's try the other way around. I'm going to select the, the circle first. Shift, select the circle, and then with the shift press I'm going to select the line. Press control, and nothing happens. So if you select the circle first and the line second, you cannot get the pop-up to appear. Probably you can use the shift command from the uh, from the S key in this case, but as you can see it defaults to the center if you release the shift button. So uh, for lines and arcs, select the line first, press shift, select the arc or circle second, and just for a second press control and in that case, as long as the shift is selected, you cannot really get a pop-up. The moment you take your finger off shift and you press control, nothing happens. If I press the S key and R dimension, it's going to the center. Okay, So don't start with the line. That's the lesson that I, I can uh, give you or the recommendation that I can give you in this regard. Start with the arc. So shift select the arc. With the shift press select the line and just press the control key. Get the uh, dimension tool. The shift is still pressed at this time when I'm selecting the dimension. 
and now I'm getting the dimension. So that's the only limitation that I can find to this workflow. It's an amazing time saver and it's going to change completely the way I work with SOLIDWORKS. It integrates with my conviction that in SOLIDWORKS the most efficient way is to pre-select everything and after that apply the command. So try it, you're going to love it. Thank you. Oh, and uh, mark for this, I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10 just because of this limitation uh, on selecting uh, the dimension between lines and, and arcs. The fact that you have to select the circle first and the line the second. Thank you.